University of Stirling were the visitors to East Kilbride's home ground of Kay Park. Both teams looking to battle it out for a place in the Lowland League Cup final in May. East Kilbride kicked off the game in blustery conditions. The first half chance of the game fell to the home side. McLeish finding Wilson on the right hand side. The midfielder shot though, well off target. Trainer's left footed delivery was then cleared by the away side's defence, before landing at the feet of Kilby midfielder McLeish, who produced a smart save from Sterling goalkeeper Marshall. University of Sterling were then awarded a free kick in a dangerous area. Templeton judged to have committed the foul. Jones right footed delivery was then deflected goalwards by Kilby captain Templeton. The deflection wrong footing Meldrum to put the away side 1-0 up. EK went looking to draw level as they fought for a place in the League Cup final. The loose ball breaking to McLeish at the edge of the box. His shot though wide of the target. Jones then picked out Geddes with a long ball over the top. The university player finding Donahue Kelly, whose effort was saved comfortably by Meldrum. Jones once again picked out Geddes, putting the Sterling player through on goal. Meldrum equal to the effort. McLaughlin's ball over the top then caused Marshall problems. Graham very close to capitalising on the goalkeeper's mistake. Kilby midfielder Daw, with some good play on the left hand side, created an opportunity for EK to draw level. Sterling's defence clearing the cross, but only as far as the edge of the box. Woods then laying the ball off for Murdoch, whose powerful strike was held well by Marshall. Half time at K Park saw the teams go in at the break with the University of Stirling leading 1 0. The second half got underway with the wind showing no signs of easing up. Kilby defenders Templeton and Woods colliding with each other in a nasty coming together before Stirling broke away. Bronski's timely interception breaking up the attack. Trainer looked to grab the equaliser, his left footed attempt off target. Templeton then came close to drawing his side level. The defender with a left footed strike saved well by Marshall. Graham was then unable to put away the rebound. Kilby again came close to getting back on level terms. Wilson's header finding Daw whose shot crashed against the crossbar before Trainer's effort went out for a goal kick. Geddes nearly doubled University's lead as he lobbed the oncoming Meldrum. His shot though off target. As the end of the game drew near, Templeton's floated free kick was met by the head of Graham, the header not troubling the goalkeeper. Sterling had a chance to finish the game off, Nicol missing a great opportunity. As time ran out in the semi-final, East Kilbride pushed everyone forward in an attempt to keep their cup dreams alive. Hadden eventually getting a shot away before the referee blew for time, as the match finished 1-0 to the away side. University of Stirling through to the final of the Lowland League Cup. Afterwards, we spoke to Kilby manager Ian King to find out his thoughts on the game. I think, you know, uh, you can't legislate for the Scottish weather, can you? You know, you, you play a semi final in April and you have to play it with a gale force wind that I think ruined it for two good footballing teams as a spectacle a bit. But I was really proud of them, second half. You know, they gave absolutely every shred they had and were the better team in the second half, you know, to lose it to a really Unlucky deflected own goal is pretty hard to take. You know the dressing room was like a morgue afterwards, and right now it, it hurts. You know uh, we put so much into the section games in this tournament, and uh, to get put out with a kind of deflected own goals pretty hard to take. Is there any injury concerns for the same time this week? No, I think uh, the same ones. You know Joe Mac, Joe McIntosh will come into um, contention. You know it was hard to leave him out today. He's been a Really good signing this season, but uh, he missed a few weeks, and it's hard to tell him they're missing out a, a 16 in a, a in a big semi-final, you know. But Joe will definitely come back into contention if he can get a week a week's training into him, then uh, I think he'll come into contention next week. So it's going to be tough at soft enclosure. I'm led to believe it's not the greatest of surfaces, and you know we're going to have to scrap. So uh, I look forward to that one. You know, I mean they've got a heavy playing schedule just now, loading Thistle. So we'll look at them again. We've seen them already and uh, hopefully we can come out all guns blazing next week and, and make a final.